morning for craft friends how are you all how's that isolation going it's actually sunny today it didn't look very nice this morning but it's um, getting uh, the sort of blue skies have come out so um i've got uh, a video to do today and um, one of my lovely subscribers connie made a comment on my last uh, mixed media video and said she'd like a nice spring card so this is for you Connie um, I'll turn you to overhead and we'll make a start okay so for my um, springtime card I am going to be using first off I'm using a 7x7 pearlized white square card and um, what I do when I'm uh, oh, just bring it down a bit so what I do when I am um, want to do my mats and layers on the base of the card I, I write the measurements of the card and then I go down in four millimeter increments I do my measuring of my for my cards in centimeters and millimeters and um, but the card is actually seven by seven and centimetres is 17.7 so I've got a piece of nice pearlized navy blue card and I've got a piece of this um, patterned paper and I'm using Sheena, Sheena's products today this is a piece of background paper from the Flowers of Britain uh, paper pack 8x8 that is I've also used um, the Garden of Treasures image um, and that's what it looks like before I cut it out and in conjunction with the Charisma pad you get the dies so I've used the die from um, the Live Life in Colour and the in conjunction with the um, Charisma, pa um, Charisma pad of a Garden of Treasures so they're what I've used. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of um, stenciling on this, uh, the base card. Um, we're going to have the bed. I'm going to decoupage the bed. But I want to do a bit of uh, stenciling. And um, so I've already put double sided tape on. Um, when I'm making cards, I much prefer double-sided tape I think I've said it in nearly all my card making videos and um, for me it's a, it's a I just get a better finish than using wet glue everybody's different it all depends on um, what you like um, but as I say this is what I like so I've got that so um, I've got this stencil this is a stencil from uh, Imagination Crafts it's from the um I can't remember what what collection it was. Um gosh I can't remember. Oh dear. It's not bird song. Um I can't remember what the name isn't it isn't it annoying? It's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, hopefully it'll come to me by the end of the um end of the video. Um, so I want to use some of this script and I want to use a few butterflies in the background and what I'm going to be using, I've got these um, blending brushes, they look like makeup brushes don't they, but I've got these, I've got a set of them I think, a set of, oh yeah I've got a set of six, I've never used them before so I thought we'll have a little play and I'm using two of Sheena's um, ink pads, Reactions ink pads. I've got Fudge Brown, Brownie, sorry, and Fuchsia's Bright. And I've gone with the pink um, um, because I, I quite, you know, kind of tone in hopefully with this. But I've not used um, I've not used all of Sheena's ink pads, so as you can tell, they've still got the the thing on. I think I've used this one. Yeah, I've used this one. Um, so I want to I, I want to have a play first 
So I'll just see what these brushes are like. So um, let's just put some on here. Um, oh, quite nice. Oh, feel really, really nice. It, just that one um, sweep with the um, and you can really blend them in look at that not look I mean I know you can see that but you can you know so the more you put on the darker and the paler so quite uh, quite like that they're really nice I think I'll be getting some more of them. So first thing I want to do, I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to do, um, when I do my stenciling, I'll always do it in um, threes. And it, so it draws your eye to the centre. So I'm going to have a little bit here. Um, I did... Yeah. Let me just think what I want to do. So I'm going to put a little bit here. Let's move that out the way. So I'll have a little bit here. have it as dark and as light as you want. <coughs> I think it's just, uh, I'm just going to have to have a, a bit of um, a play with these brushes. That look cool. So I'm going to do um, figure of three. So I think we'll have this bit down here. And I love script in background. I just thought it would, you know, just add to the card. I mean, I could have just pop, plopped them on there and that, but I, I didn't want to. And I'm going, just going to do some up here in the middle. I don't want it, you know, dark, dark. There we go. That's just just subtle enough to for what I wanted. So there we go. That cool. So I kind of know where I want the bird to go. I want the bird to go there. So I'm thinking I might put some butterflies here. Maybe do one or two. So I need to just I don't want it too dark. So if I put that there and I want that butterfly to go there and I just There we go, that looks good doesn't it? And uh, hmm, I might do one there Uh, and I might put another one on but I just want to glue this first let's see this uh, I'm even poke it tool and as I say I've die cut I've die cut it so I just need to get rid of the bits first that need to come out a good tip is turn it over turn it round so you can see where they have to, you know, the pieces need to come out. So I think I've got everything. Yep. So first, before I do anything, now I'm going to just 
just do that little butterfly there. Let's see. That's going to go there like that. I want to put something there. So I think I'll just put that butterfly up there. There we go. And then I'm just going to go around the edges of the card. So that's all done. So now it's a case of matting and layering. So, I've, as I said, I've put double sided tape on all four sides. Um, I've not done a card making video for quite a while, and I just thought I'd um, make a make a nice card using some other products than what I usually use. It's always nice. There we go. Do the same for this one. Making sure I've got it straight. Yep. So that's that done. Now, as I said, I've taken that out, so I'm going to use some of my Magic Bond and just go around the edges. Into somewhere I haven't taken out. So I'm just going to quickly, because I want this flat, um, I'm uh, I'm using this and it'll lie flat on on the background on the backing paper. use that so I don't get fingerprints all over my image. There we go. And then I'm going to actually do this one now and I'm going to be using some pin flare which is silica which is a form of silicon it's a glue gel and I'll get sight dimension with this and why isn't this coming out easy? There we go. Got it. Just not playing nice. That one comes out. That one comes out. That one comes out. That one comes out. She says, hopefully. Oops. It's uh, not playing nice. Uh, I think I'd be lost without my pokey tool. Um, there we go. That's that one. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, 
a dimension to this. And I'm shaping it with my with, with, with my fingers. Using my syringe, I'm just going to Okay, so now I'm going to just gently place that on. So I hope you can see the dimension. There's not a lot, I didn't want a lot because obviously thinking about posting. And um, so now <coughs> I'm going to use um, my quickie glue pen, if there's any left. Uh, let's see. No, that's dead. Another one. Yep, yeah, that's not it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little, a few little dots around the flowers. Just to the end of the. This is my glitter station. And I'm just going to just I'm not sure if you can see the twinkle. And there uh, just put it back where it should be. All I've got to do is just put a sentiment on and what I thought I would use is, oh, if I can get that, uh, I've got these kind of tickets, but I don't want that, I'm just going to, I've got chit chats and I thought um, I would see what we had. Um, let's see. They've got quotes, so I think I might put a quote on. Uh, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Oh, that might be nice. Because I've added this sparkle, I think I might do that one actually. I'm going to just place that on there like that and I think that is my card complete 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I've enjoyed making this. It's uh, not often I do make cards on, uh, even though I make cards quite often. It's not. Very, it's very rare I do a video, so I think I might, I might be doing. Uh, in fact, what I think I might do next time is do an actual mixed media card. Um, will be my next video. I'm thinking with um, with one of the new collections from Imagination Crafts. So um, any products that I've used, you can uh, find um, on Creating Craft or Crafting.go.uk. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll come back again real soon. Um, and as I was saying, this video is going live on Tuesday and I have another one going live on Friday. So take care everybody and stay safe and um, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye for now.